Stand firm in the faith of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Romans 5, verses 1, 2, and 5. Therefore, having been justified by faith, faith in the gospel of Jesus Christ, we, fellow believers, have peace with God, God Almighty, through our Lord Jesus Christ, i.e. Jesus' crucifixion, resurrection, and subsequent ascension, through whom also we have access by faith into this grace, God Almighty's amazing saving grace in which we stand, and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God, our spiritual bodies that are being caught up together. Now hope does not disappoint, because the love of God, God Almighty, has been poured out into our hearts, believers' hearts, by the Holy Spirit, who was given to us by God Almighty. 1 Corinthians 10, verses 12 and 13. Therefore, let him, fellow believers, who thinks he stands firm in the faith of the gospel of Jesus Christ, take heed, pay close attention, lest he fall into temptation. No temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man, i.e. mankind. But God, God Almighty, is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. But with the temptation, God Almighty will also make the way of escape, that you, fellow believers, may be able to bear it. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 6a. Moreover, brethren, fellow believers, I declare to you the gospel of Jesus Christ, which I preached to you, which you also received through the Holy Spirit, and in which you stand, by which also you are saved from the lake of fire to second death, everlasting condemnation. If you hold fast that word which I preached to you, the gospel of Jesus Christ, unless you believed in vain. For I, fellow believers, delivered to you, first of all, that which I also received through the Holy Spirit, that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, the Holy Bible, and specifically the gospel of Jesus Christ, and that He, Jesus, was buried, and that He, Jesus, rose alive again the third day according to the Scriptures, the Holy Bible, and specifically the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that he, Jesus, was seen alive by Cephas, also known as Peter, then by the twelve Jesus' disciples. After that, he, Jesus, was seen alive by over five hundred brethren, fellow believers at once, i.e. Jesus' crucifixion, resurrection, and subsequent ascension. 1 Corinthians 16, verses 13 and 14. Watch, be spiritually alert, stand fast in the faith, faith in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Be brave, be strong, let all that you, fellow believers, do be done with love. 2 Corinthians 5, verses 20 and 21. Now then we, fellow believers, are ambassadors for Christ, as though God, God Almighty, were pleading through us. We implore you yet to be believers on Christ's behalf. Be reconciled to God, God Almighty. For He, God Almighty, made Him, Jesus Christ, who knew no sin to be sin for us, i.e. Jesus' crucifixion, resurrection, and subsequent ascension, that we, fellow believers, might become the righteousness of God, children of God Almighty, in Him, Jesus Christ. Galatians 5, verses 1 and 5. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty by which Christ has made us, fellow believers, free from the bondage of sin, and do not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. For we, fellow believers, through the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, eagerly wait for the hope of righteousness, everlasting life, by faith, faith in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Ephesians 2, verses 8 through 10. For by grace, God Almighty's amazing saving grace, you, fellow believers, have been saved from the lake of fire to second death, everlasting condemnation, through faith, faith in the gospel of Jesus Christ, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, God Almighty's free gift of salvation, not a mankind's works, lest anyone should boast. For we, fellow believers, are His, God Almighty's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works. God Almighty's good works performed through us, which God, God Almighty, prepared beforehand that we, fellow believers, should walk in them. 2 Thessalonians 2, verses 13-17 through 17. But we, fellow believers, are bound to give thanks to God, God Almighty, always for you, brethren, beloved by the Lord Jesus Christ, because God, God Almighty, from the beginning chose you, fellow believers, for salvation, God Almighty's free gift of salvation, through sanctification, by the Spirit, through the Holy Spirit, and belief in the truth, the Bible, and specifically the gospel of Jesus Christ, to which he called you to be children of God Almighty, by our gospel, the gospel of Jesus Christ, for the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ, our spiritual bodies that the being caught up together. Therefore, brethren, fellow believers, stand fast and hold the traditions which you were taught, whether by word through the Holy Spirit or our epistle, the gospel of Jesus Christ.
Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and our God and Father, God Almighty, who has loved us, fellow believers, and given us everlasting consolation, our spiritual bodies, and good hope of everlasting life by grace, God Almighty's amazing saving grace, comfort your hearts and establish you, fellow believers, in every good word and every good work, God Almighty's good works performed through us. Second Timothy 2, verses 15 to 17a, 19 and 23 to 26. Be diligent, hard-working, to present yourself, fellow believers, approved to God, children of God Almighty, a worker, Jesus Christ's light, who does not need to be ashamed before God Almighty and Jesus Christ, rightly dividing, spiritually understanding the word of truth, the Holy Bible, and specifically the gospel of Jesus Christ. But shun profane and idle babblings of false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, for they will increase to more ungodliness through Satan, and their demonic message will spread like cancer. Nevertheless, the solid foundation of God, God Almighty, stands, having this seal. The Lord God Almighty knows those fellow believers who are his children. And let everyone, fellow believers, who names the name of Christ, depart from iniquity. But avoid foolish and ignorant disputes of false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, knowing that they generate strife through Satan. And a servant of the Lord, fellow believers, must not quarrel, but be gentle to all, able to teach the Holy Bible, and specifically the Gospel of Jesus Christ, patient in humility, correcting those false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers who are in opposition to the truth, if God, God Almighty, perhaps will grant them repentance, salvation through the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, so that they, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, may know the truth, the Holy Bible, and specifically the Gospel of Jesus Christ, and that they, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, may come to their spiritual senses and escape the snare of the devil, Satan, having been taken captive by him to do his will, Satan's will. Titus 3, verses 10 and 11. Reject the device of man, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, after the first and second admonition, rebuking, knowing that such a person is warped and sinning, being self-condemned through Satan. Ephesians 6, verses 10 to 18. Finally, my brethren, fellow believers, be strong in the Lord God Almighty, and in the power of His, God Almighty's might. Put on the whole armor of God, God Almighty, that you, fellow believers, may be able to stand against the wiles, the deceptions of the devil, Satan. For we, fellow believers, do not wrestle spiritually battle against flesh and blood, i.e. mankind, but we spiritually battle against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places, i.e. against Satan, fallen angels, and demons. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, God Almighty, that you, fellow believers, may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand, therefore, having girded your waist with truth, the Holy Bible, and specifically the Gospel of Jesus Christ. Having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the Gospel of Peace, above all, take in the shield of faith, faith in the Gospel of Jesus Christ, with which you, fellow believers, will be able to quench all the fiery darts, spiritual attacks of the wicked one, Satan, and take the helmet of salvation, God Almighty's free gift of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, which is the Word of God, the Holy Bible, and specifically the Gospel of Jesus Christ, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, being watchful, spiritually alert to this end, with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints, fellow believers. 1 John 5, verse 7. For there are three that bear witness in heaven, the Father God Almighty, the Word Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, and these three are one. Jude 1, verses 20 and 21. But you, beloved fellow believers, building yourselves up on your most holy faith, faith in the gospel of Jesus Christ, Praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in the love of God, God Almighty, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ at the being caught up together unto eternal life, everlasting life in God Almighty's immediate presence with Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, God Almighty's holy angels, and all the rest of the children of God Almighty for eternity, forever. Fellow believers, may our Lord Jesus Christ find you going about the Father's business, which is sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ as a good and faithful servant. Amen.